Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Gary Linden. I'm the curator of the Chicagoland Combined Veterans Museum, located in River Grove, Illinois. Uh, today, we're going to talk a little bit about the Spanish-American War and just a few things from that. And I guess we might as well start over here with Harper's Weekly. This one is dated September 24th, 1898. And as you can see on the front cover, we have Colonel Teddy Roosevelt, who is the uh, commander of the U.S. Volunteers, or he was the colonel in that regiment. That's kind of what helped make him famous. And then when we go up here, we have a black and white photo that's framed. Actually, that was taken of the church altar on Easter Sunday in the U.S. Maine. And by the way, what gets us into the war uh, is the U.S. Maine itself, a U.S. battleship. It exploded in Havana Harbor on the 15th of February, 1898, and that killed 260 U.S. servicemen. This is still a picture of the Maine uh, above water. Back here, we have a picture of the U.S. Maine framed and this is after the explosion and it's sitting in Havana Harbor and as you can see one of the Spanish American U.S. Army officers is standing on the wreckage. Uh, a few of the things that they would have used we have a picture here this is for uh, U.S. soldiers and this is at Camp Cuba Libra in Florida Tampa Florida where they trained before they went overseas over to Cuba. We have a little plastic soldier, a Spanish American War soldier. This one's a sergeant made by the Lewis Marks Toy Company. Over on this side, we have a, this one's made of lead. And this is a Spanish American War enlisted man with his rifle. And this is made by the uh, William Britton's Company of England. Now we have a box here of 3040 U.S. Army blanks. This was for the 3040 Craig that they carried. Uh, these blanks are still alive. They got a good primer. There's no projectile, it's just a blank. So it would, when they were practice, uh, just making a noise. And if we can jump back over to the other side here, these are live rounds for 3040 Craig. So you can see it's got still the good primer has the projectile still in it, and this is actually what they shot out of their rifle when they were fighting the Cubans down in Cuba. This is one of the old stereo view cards. Uh, this is one of the little cemeteries with some of our uh, deceased soldiers killed in action, buried in it. We have a little uh, US flag that we folded up in a triangle. We didn't do a great job, but it's there. Going back over here, what we have in this box, I'll hold up for you. These are all different little uh, reunion pins that were handed out after the Spanish-American War that our guys would get when they went to a reunion. Uh, this piece here could either be a reunion pin or it might even be a piece of what they called um, sweetheart jewelry that they could have brought home or sent home to one of their wives, girlfriends, sisters, this. This is actually a cap badge that would have been worn on their cap. And this would have been the fifth company. Uh, and this is from the Spanish American War. This is just another one of the old stereo views from the 18, late 1800s. And this shows a, uh, artillery emplacement. And last, but certainly not least, made by the Lewis Marks Company, we have a set of American heroes, which is Colonel Roosevelt and his Rough Riders from the Spanish American War, 1898. You have Colonel Roosevelt here in white hard plastic. The rest of them are all in a soft plastic. Uh, we have two mounted men two advancing, four marching, and the sergeant is actually the same figure that they did in hard plastic. They would do things in hard plastic and in soft. So in closing, 
I would just like to say to all of our uh, military personnel, the past, the present, and the future, thank you for your service.